up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna look at one of my favorite champions is brogny or brog dizzle um the guy is just an absolute beast um there's almost no content that he can be used in you know doom tower bosses doom tower waves uh, arena dungeons clan boss hydra i mean he's even in the world record teams for hydra and clan boss as well um, but yeah, such a great champion. Um, so this is how I've got him built. I love him in a Guardian set. Um, so he's going to take damage away from the rest of the team. Um, and yeah, it's just such such a good way to have him built. I mean, if you don't have Guardian set and you're still an early account, you could go Immortal instead. Um, but yeah, he's such a great champion. And all you want to do is stack HP on him. So he's got HP on his chest, on the gloves and the boots. I did put a little bit of defense on him as well, just to give him survivability. And then again, HP on the banner. So total stats, we've got 91k HP, uh, 3.k defense, 219 speed. I would like him to be a little bit faster. Um, if I could push this up to maybe 250, to be fair, he's not glyphed out though. But with glyphs, we could probably get to 245. Um, the rest of the stats really don't matter on him. He's a support champion. He's there to keep people alive. However, if you're going to bring him for clan boss, you could push that up to 100% crit rate and push up the crit damage just so he does some damage on the clan boss. Um, but outside of that, he doesn't really need it. Um, you can put accuracy on him as well. Um, accuracy is great on him because, you know, he does sort of um, decrease the duration of buffs. He also does have a HP burn on his A1. But outside of that, I don't really think any other stats really matter. I mean, you could put resistance on him, but then if you put resistance on him, you're going to lose HP, and that will mean that you have smaller shields, and he needs shields. Um, so the other ways that you could build him is instead of a Guardian set, you could go Reflex. So Reflex is great for Clan Boss and for Hydra. Then the other way you can go is Bolster set for Arena, and Bolster set on him is amazing. Um, so yeah, I would definitely probably choose a bolster set. The only problem with bolster set though is if you're free to play like me, it is hard to get good pieces. So I mean, that way you could go for a shield set, but then again, you're gonna need resistance on him. Otherwise, that can be stripped. So let's just go through his abilities and see why he's so strong. So passive: whenever an ally under a shield buff is attacked, reflects twenty five percent of the damage on the shield back to the attacker also heals the ally by 25 percent of the damage inflicted on the shield if there are multiple champions in the team with this skill only one will activate so this is what makes him so strong um this is why he can get such big numbers on hydra and for clan boss um but it's also just great for arena as well i've had it where i've had like a squishy champion like my constantine and he's just hit a team with bolster on with Brogny in the mix and he's reflected damage and just dropped my new car. Um, so yeah, it, it is really good. And actually, um, Constantine has a double hitter on his A2. So um, basically the first hit comes down, does loads of damage, it's reflected back to Constantine, drops him, and then he doesn't get the second hit off. So that's really cool. That's really, really useful. His A3 is so strong. Um, it places block debuffs, which is one of the strongest buffs in the game. Um, being able to protect yourself from debuffs is incredibly strong. Um, increased attack is okay. I mean, it's kind of good for, obviously, attack nukers, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's just okay. Um, but then also places a shield buff on all allies for two turns equal to 30% of this champion's max HP. So if you've got 100k HP, that means you're going to have 30k worth of extra HP on your champions. And it's a protected shield as well, which is great. And the fact that he throws out three um, buffs as well on every single champion means that you can use him with Seer as well, which is just great. So another champion to be used with Seer. So his A2 um, attacks all enemies as um, a 100% chance when fully booked of removing one random buff from all, uh, sorry, all enemies. Has a 100% chance of removing one random buff from allies or debuff from allies 
and increases the value of shields and well eyes by 30% of the damage inflicted. Again, that's amazing. So we are going to increase our shields. So actually, um, for PvE, you might want to put some crit rate on him just so we can increase our shields. Um, so that's something about his kit that I actually forgot about. So a <laughs> good little reminder there that he does that as well. Uh, for, I didn't even know that he had like a little sort of mini cleanse as well. So his A1 um, attacks one enemy and has a 55% chance when fully booked of placing HP burn. It's okay. Um, it's not amazing. I would say, I mean, it is useful to put a bit of accuracy on him, but because his shields are so good, I do like just to go the route of just stacking HP on him as much as possible. So masteries, I've got him in some PVE masteries. Um, I'll show you what I would do for um, for arena. So this is definitely for PVE and for um, just like for dungeons and for clan boss and stuff. And we definitely want to go down for giant slayer on him. Just um, it does benefit the most from it from his shields when reflecting that damage. So for masteries, um, I've got three Valkyries and it's this one. So these would be the masteries that I probably would take for, for Arena. The only thing that I would do different is instead of Unshakable, I would take Bulwark. Um, so again, that's just going to take damage away from your teammates and, uh, and Brogny is just going to soak it all up. And then the only other thing that I'd do different is I'd move these two or these three across. So we'd take some more HP we'd increase um, the heals that our champion casts. Uh, um, no, actually, no, no, I would go, I would go HP, I'd go shield, and then I'd take healing savior that also increases the value of our shields as well. So that, that would definitely help, um, but you know, bump up our Brogny. So let's uh, hop into arena with him, see if we can get a nice little match. This looks like a really, really hard team um okay let's see do i have to spend gems okay so let's go against this team with seer and i'm just curious to see what's going to happen um i have no idea um let's see so i'm gonna bring in pytheon just so i can cleanse this make sure that we um can actually use our brogany because like i said he's not really fast enough okay so they're pretty slow um, let's just heal off that and then let's bring out those big fat shields from Brogny and let's see what their seer can actually do. So I'm going to play this badly. I really am interested. So she couldn't even kill the whole team and Brogny protect us, reflected a decent amount of damage, but didn't quite get to kill her. And we'll just finish them off quickly with um, Hepfrek, whack it on auto. But yeah, as you can see, like he does bring in a decent amount of protection. Um, there's loads of champions that you could pair him up with. Um, like obviously, there's the big ones like Pytheon and Duchess would work really nicely with him. Um, but then, I don't know, someone like, um, I think, Skullcrown would be a really good option. Um, you know, bringing protection into Skullcrown and then maybe someone that can counterattack as well. So... Skull Crown is going to be protected with block debuffs. Also going to be counter-attacking with his A1 all the time. Sorry, her A1 all the time. Just so, so good. And this looks like a pretty nasty team comp right here as well. And they've got two strippers. So I'm actually going to bring in my um, Lady Kimmy as well. Just so hopefully we get a turn. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath. My Arbiter is not the fastest in the world especially okay so that's going to be an issue oh my god this looks like it's actually going to be a loss damn just oh these whales today just i can't compete um all right let's try again i just want to see if we can try and lock them out with my hedgy but yeah it's just insane like you know I'm free to play, but where people can just, I don't know, these people, I don't know, they just can buy it, buy, buy their wave, buy, buy those wins. Okay, so hopefully we can get some a decent showcase now with Brogny. 
and just want him to try and reflect that damage. Yeah, let's push that Kimmy back. Untrustworthy. Okay, I'm just going to drop her and then we're going to see what Canifron does. And again, barely like kept the whole team alive. He he can definitely be such a strong champion for a go second team. He's such a viable option. And let's see who's uh candle from gonna go for. God. And look, they none of them could even get through Brogney's big fat shields. And he's taking a lot of that damage as well. Again, with that um Guardian set on, it just provides so much utility. Just absolutely love it. All right, so let's um, hop into a dungeon and let's uh, faction wars is open as well. So let's do that as well. We've got a pretty end team um, team comp for faction wars. We've got Trunda, we've got Molly, um, we've got Geo, Brogni, and Herndig as well. So teams pretty fast. Um, should just be able to get through the waves pretty quickly. I guess this guy is uh, force of so it slows it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, almost an all legendary team. So um, Trunda obviously just smacks and does big damage. Molly is a champion everyone can get. Um, you can get her from the Faction Guardian shop. So just got to sell a few um, crappy champions and you can get yourself a Molly. And she is 100% worth. Uh, Herndig is another fusion champion and he is also an absolute god uh one of my favorite champions i wish i could build him differently um but i've got him set up for dark fane so i don't i don't really want to touch that would mess a lot of things up for me but he is such a good champion and then we've got geo um who pairs up really nicely with brogni they both do uh, reflect damage to the boss so hopefully you'll be able to see that so just got to wait for the boss to take a turn. And um, we're just going to... Oh, okay, here we go. So boss has just done a bit of damage to us and just reflected a bit of damage right there. But ideally, we do need Brogni shields up for this. But yeah, so with Brogni shields up and then Geo popping off and they both just reflect damage back to the boss and it is pretty nuts, to be honest. Um, but I don't think we're going to see it today, but it's okay. Um, I think they actually have to hit Geo for him to do the reflect damage. So, but I mean, again, amazing for Hydra. They are a great comp, like a great combo for Hydra, if you want to do that as well. But yeah, you can see like Trunda and Herndig doing all the damage, but you know, Brogni, he's done quite a bit of healing. He's done okay in damage and he's not... Um, I guess you can see like the shields that he's put on everyone else as well. So he has protected Geo with a 31k. So it is good. Let's uh, bring in Brogdizzle uh, for stage 25 and see what he can do on Dragon. So he's the wrong affinity, but hopefully, you know, it's not going to mess things up too much. So we're going to bring in loads of buffs for Seared Strip and she's going to drop the waves. So that's nine seconds straight onto the second one. Um, I've not got any setup here and we don't have a reset champion, so we'll just have to cycle back through the abilities. But hopefully that means that, you know, Brogni is going to get a bit of a, you know, that he can show what he can do and show the sort of survivability. So I'm not sure. I guess they should be targeting Seer. Hopefully they do. And then, you know, we can watch him protect him or protect her even. Yeah, G nuts coming in, dropping a good chunk of the wave. All right, that was nice. So that guy managed to wipe almost all the shields, but you know everyone's still at full HP, pretty much. Um, Brogni. Okay, and we should be back round to Sears A three any second now, and we've got plenty of buffs to steal from. And here we go, bang. Okay, so straight onto the boss. And I'm hoping it should be a pretty quick run. Um, you know, G Nuts just absolutely slams on that A3. Um, and Seer, she won't do as much damage because of the passive, 
which is quite annoying. But um, she still will be able to help chip away as well. So hopefully should be nice and quick. Okay, so that's two and a half minutes. Not particularly fast, but not terrible either. Um, so Brogny, he's done a decent amount of damage, to be fair, considering, you know, all he was doing was reflecting damage back off his shield. So um, half a mil, that's pretty good. And you can see, like, his shields have protected everyone here. So everyone's been protected. Um, but yeah, so, and like, I know, I, like, obviously, Gina and Seer have pumped out some big numbers, but they are nukers, and he's just a support champion. So he, you know, he's given, he's keeping everyone alive, but he's also, you know, doing some damage as well. Such, such a great champion. So I think that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you guys when you build out your Brog Dizzles. Um, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.